Hello guys, welcome to our workout today. So what do you need? On the ground, I have a blanket, a t-shirt, and a dress up tail from Halloween. What equipment do you need? You need a piece of paper rolled up into a ball, just like that, and a paper plate. Very simple. You're gonna stand inside of the circle. This is your home, this is your area. You can't get out of it. This is the bop it, catch it challenge. You'll have three attempts to do it. So let's show you what I mean. You take the paper plate, you hold it out, put the paper on top. You throw it up, hit it once, and you have to catch the paper. Now with the paper, it's easy because I can fold it a little bit. If you try to have it flat like a book, it's a little bit harder. So I throw it up, hit it once, catch it. That's one time I hit it with my hand. Now I put the paper back on, throw it up, hit it twice. Oh, and I dropped it, so I get no points there. I had one attempt, so now I have to try it again. So throw it up, hit it, catch it. That's one. Two. Woo. Now I have to hit three times. Three. All right. Now I keep going till I step out, or my paper hits the ground. If it hits the ground, I go back to zero. Now, some things to think about. Mr. Briggs, I don't have a paper plate. Perfect. You can use a cup. So throw it up, hit it, catch it. Simply, you can use a cup. Mr. Briggs, I don't have a cup like that. Well, you got a hand, don't you? Throw it up, hit it, catch it. Throw it up, just like that. So you have ways to do this. Now, you get three chances to do this. So I'm gonna go, this is my first real chance. I'm only probably gonna do one time through. You guys though get three chances to so make sure you fill out your dojo or your exit slip so I can hook you up with some dojo points for doing this fourth and fifth grade. And I'll even give you more dojo points if you're listening. I promise you, send me a picture of you smiling next to the dream box open. So if you're able to send Mr. Briggs a picture of you smiling and waving with dream box open, I will get a hold of your teacher and I'll get you some more dojo points. That's a promise from me to you. All right, send them via class dojo right to me i'll hook you up so let's get started remember with paper plate you can fold it a little bit so throw it up hit it catch that's one two three four five Six, seven, eight. Oh no, so it flew away. So now I would have two more chances to do this activity. You get three as well. So like I said, paper plate, a cup, your hand, roll up paper, and just make a little circle on the ground so you have to stay inside of there. Three chances, my friends, three chances. And if you're awesome, try it, keep going with it. Send me the score on our exit slip. Exit slip is gonna have your name, your teacher, who is it, obviously, and tell me your score. I'll hook you up with some dojo points. And like I said, you send me a picture of you smiling, waving from your dream box, I'll send you some more. So thank you guys. We got another one coming up right now. All right, welcome back. This is our second challenge of the day. Remember what we talked about. You want some dojo points? Take a picture of you smiling with your dream box open, doing some work. Also, make sure you fill out the exit slip. This one is called the Silly Cup Challenge. Here's what we got. I got my timer. I'll do the timing. You do the work. I'm doing the work with you, don't worry. You also need a cup and that rolled up piece of paper. That's it. So. What do you need? You need your space spread out, and you always have to start with something that's a little different. We're doing two cross jumps. So watch my feet. They're spread out. I have to go behind, in front, then I gotta go. So how do you play? Take the cup, put it on your head. Take the paper, you're gonna throw it up in the air, have it come down, and try to catch it inside your cup. If you do, you get a point. How many points can you get in our entire time of one minute? Now, if it falls to the ground, you don't start over. You just keep going. If I have four points and it drops to the ground, my next one I throw open catch, now I have five points. 
So what does it look like? So one, two, I throw it up. Oh, I dropped it. No points. But I have to do my jumps again. One, two. I caught it. Now what's next? Our jumps. One, two. So how many points can you get in one minute? So I'm going to push stop for just a second. Push pause. Get your cup. Get your paper. Get your stuff as well. Push pause if you need to. This is your chance. Rolled up paper. You just used it in our last video. A cup. Some of you might even use that in your last video. I got the timer set up. Remember, the cross jumps. One, two, then we throw it up and try to catch. How many times can we catch it in one minute? You guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Got one. Two, three, four, five. I lost track of that one. Six, seven, eight. Keep going, guys. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oh, 15 for Mr. Briggs. I'm pretty happy about that. My practice round I did before I did with you guys, it was only eight, not very good. So, great job. Exit slip, make sure you sign up for it. It's right after this, it's right there, right below. Can't miss it. Thank you guys, and remember, Dojo Points, Dreambox, fill that out, promise you I'll hook you up, promise, 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 promise. Do the work, see you guys soon.